fund is $258 million and it takes care of police, fire, uh, recreation, libraries, um, the sort of core basic services that the government provides. Uh, two, two largest sources, property tax and sales tax. And the property tax side, we've enjoyed over the last five years about 3.25% growth uh, in property tax rates over time. We're projecting 1% growth in next fiscal year. The county is projecting zero. Uh, and so that, that just gives you a sense of uh, where we're going and, and what the market and what the economy has done to our ability to provide services. On the sales tax side, we've seen a general slowdown in economic activity. Uh, we're projecting a $2 million deficit in the current fiscal year in sales tax. And then we have the fact that building permits are down for us and utility franchise fees taxes are down for us. And so uh, we're projecting a year-end deficit of about $1.5 million. Uh, and when we look forward to what that meant for 2010 and 11, this is, again, being shortly after I got here in October, uh, the deficit was projected at seven million. Now, where we stand in in May of uh, 2010, that that number has gone up to nine and a half million. Uh, and so, what we've been focused on is how to close a nine and a half million dollar budget deficit. Uh, the council also asked us to look at lowering the property tax uh, rate, and so uh, taking a penny off the tax rate. So we've had to give them options and are developing options to cut an additional 2.4 million. So if the council takes all of these options together. The city of Greensboro will need to cut around $12 million from this budget in fiscal year 10 and 11. So how do you approach that? What do we talk about? Uh, how, do you, how do you move uh, forward to, to present a budget that makes some sense and funds some key priorities? Uh, and, and we talked to the council about priorities. And in November, had a retreat with them and talked about what is it that we could agree on. And, and you all probably know this council isn't the best at getting along uh, with each other. And, but there's an interesting uh, uh, quote that I like to use and I talk about often when I talk about this community and how we're going to progress together and even how the council will work together. It's a quote by Martin Luther King that says, we may have all come on different ships, but we're in the same boat now. And so our key was to, with the city council, uh, to say, where, where is that commonality? You've got a conservative group, you've got a liberal group, and a couple of moderates that uh, have different, very different perspectives about the role of government and what we ought to be about in terms of our priorities. And as we were preparing for this retreat and trying to find what boat we were all going to be on at the same time, we started reading the campaign literature, the staff and I, and what they campaigned on and what they said in the stump speeches. And we found that there were some commonalities, and there are three things that they all could agree on that they all said were important for the city of Greensboro and this community. And those three were economic development and job growth and creation, uh, public safety and having safe communities and safe streets and, uh, uh, and a strong investment in public safety infrastructure, and then in infrastructure, how we can invest in growth and development. And so when we talked to the council about how 